It's always been. It was just sold yeah. to another financial group. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I know someone who spent um, one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars there. Oh, yeah. It is a for profit. It's yeah. very expensive. So uh, let me add this. If you are currently in this program doing your doctorate, this is one of the biggest chapters that you have to take. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a different spin. <laughs> I don't know how many times Eric helped me on chapter three, you know, going back and forth with him, um, just learning the content and the structures and Dr. Young and the whole uh, decision committee. So the research design methodology is simply population, uh, recruitment, data collection, and <laughs> consideration, data analysis, um, uh, back to perspectives of online teaching, where the components to examine this, uh, uh, this teaching, teaching and distance education. So the data collection and data analysis were not the template yet in the research that took themselves out. Research or interview, I interviewed 12 faculty members uh, who have taught online courses or are currently teaching online courses. So the standard that I use was that if you have taught online courses for one year or you, you just started teaching online courses for the past year, then you qualify for this research standard because you have one year of experience to actually be in there. Um, any questions? Uh, the research data were relying on faculty perspective was richly descriptive and I did not manipulate it to any um, so who knows a lot about semi structure and image and open ended questions? Yeah. All right, can, can anybody say yeah, go ahead. Well I mean I'm not an expert on it, but maybe I think a feet you know on that one. Yeah, so semi-structured interviews basically allow the researcher and the participant the experience to share or talk about uh, the research subject that is being investigated. Okay, but we will dig deeper into it. Uh, so as defined by Merriam 2009, semi-structured interviews are in-depth interviews, often called conversation with a purpose. Okay, so you will have a conversation back to memory that you were in uh, which allowed the researcher and participants to be equal partners as co-researchers. So you also have to remember that you are not just the only researcher. The faculty member or the student or whoever you are interviewing for your dissertation is also a co-researcher. Okay, it's part of your dissertation. Uh, the researcher conducted this basic basic qualitative study, uh, which is not experimental, uh, exploratory, descriptive, and contextual. Okay, so there's a lot of rich text in it. So participants, 12 faculty members who have already taught or currently teach on <coughs> courses, participated in 